Hello. hello, hello. Hi, Salvador, how are you? Cansado. Oh, tired. It was tiring. Oh, it was tiring. I imagine. Uh, how was the... Like this. It was tiring. Así como que estuvo cansado. It was tiring. Y para decir que estoy cansado es... I yeah i right. am yes i am tired i am tired yes sometimes happen who was the who was the training como estuvo ese the conference in china yeah 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 Oh, interesting, All right? In, in what, in, uh -huh. That could be a little beneficial. Podría ser un poquito beneficioso ese cambio en los productos o or not? Eh, eh, sí, porque digamos en mi caso, bueno, en el caso de la marca eh, está puede ocupar la batería de todas las herramientas. O sea, no precisamente una herramienta sino una batería especial. Ajá. Ok. Es bien beneficioso y aparte que es un delito que tiene como, como alcalino que acaba. Que lo puede recargar y todo. Ah, qué bueno. O sea, el producto es mucho mejor. Es much better. Yeah. So, that is uh, important. Eso es importante, ¿no? Eso está bien. Así que, pues, I'm happy for you because that was good. Larga, pero important, right? Eh, the important is to have the benefits, right? O sea, lo importante es que, que hubieron beneficios ahí. Así que, pues, eso es bueno. Está bien, está bien. Excellent. Good night. Hello, Eric. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. How are you today? So-so. Uh, So-so. <laughs> really? <laughs> A little challenging challenging day uh, poquito no retador. Sé que, uh, challenging sí. es como retador es un día ha sido un día de retos eh, sería a challenging day challenging day así ah, look at this oh, challenging okay. day it's a challenging day so because maybe the things are not as we expected and but anyway we had to. Hola. Como los retos. Ajá, de, ha sido de, de un día desafiante, un día, you know, we cannot say difficult, but at least uh, challenging. Yes. Uh, des, desmotivador. Ah, ah, discouraged. <laughs> okay, it's been discouraged. discouraged. Yeah, so sometimes, yeah, there are like good days, there are sometimes bad days, so. You know, sometimes we had to um, to focus about, you know, good things. It's because sometimes in, in our jobs, for example, I'm a kind of person who likes the, eh, likes to do everything good in my job. A veces, bueno, soy de las personas que me gusta las cosas, hacerlas bien en el trabajo. Y pues, cuando a veces no salen como uno espera, a veces es como un poquito frustrante, right? Me pasa a mí, and de repente yo, no, ah, I mean, I didn't expect that something was going to be like that. Pero... Bueno, cada día es diferente y cada día tiene su afán, right? Right. Yes. Hay que, hay que luchar mañana. Yeah, today is going to be a new day, so there will be better things. I mean, el, ya mañana será un día distinto, habrán cosas diferentes, entonces, pues, eso es importante, luchar cada día por lo que nos gusta y por lo, por lo que estamos ahí. And so that's what I love about everyday's life. Yeah. So, Así well, es, teacher. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's welcome to uh, Oscar and also Trinidad uh, Gonzalez that we are joining. Uh, as I told you, we have to, well, uh, we have to uh, think about uh, new days, you know, opportunities. And I'm happy for this because we are almost ready to, to work today and also focusing about what we do. Let's see here. 
Teacher, solamente lo, los que no se conectaron el día de ayer tienen que participar el doble ahora. Y, no es, con y no es con dedicatoria para Oscar Sánchez, ¿verdad? Ah, vaya. Y ahí está, mira, y solo risa le da. ¿eh? <risa> <risa> Así es, ¿verdad? No quisiera decir nombres, dice usted. <risa> Así, indirectamente. <risa> <risa> ok, ok, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. How are you? How are you? Hello, good to see you. Welcome to the English class. Okay. <laughs> well, I think it's the time. So we had to be very punctual. Uh, we were talking about uh, the responsibility to be always on time in class. So we need to uh, begin today with the most important about our English class. I really love to help you to improve and practice. Every minute, it's very valuable for you guys to learn English. So that's why we're going to learn a lot in this class. So let's begin today with your classes. Vamos a iniciar ya. Eh, y por ahí decía el compañero que pues hay que practicar bastante, ¿verdad? Así que el doble, así que me gusta la idea. All right. I would like to start asking you about every day's class and does something important that I want you to ask you guys. What did we study yesterday's class? What do you remember? Okay, volunteer. What, what, what we studied? ¿Qué estudiamos? ¿Quién se acuerda? Y luego yo hago un feedback, all right? Yes? The use, uh, there is, and there are. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? What else? What else do you remember? ¿Qué más se acuerdan? Hello. ¿Qué más se recuerdan? No more comments. No hay más comentarios. Well, there, there are only seven. And yeah, so we got five minutes. Bien, ahí gracias. Eh, ya que nos hablamos acerca de there is. ¿Qué significa? What's the meaning about there is in Spanish? What's the meaning about there is in Spanish? ¿Qué significa there is? Hay. Mm -hmm. For singular or for plural? There is. Singular. It's singular, okay. And what's the meaning about there are? Hay también. And I, for, for, plural. for plural, of course. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're talking about plural. That's that's good. That's actually very valid. So we're talking about if there is and there are, and we're talking about this structure. So it's very important to focus about these things, right? Okay, let's continue. We're talking about the reason there are in the grammar structures. So just want to have a big a backup. Uh, uh, we have studied about the use of the, well, the general goal is to ask and tell people the specific location of places and directions around in my workplace. That was the, 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 the topic, right? That we were discussing about locations. La ubicación del lugar de trabajo. Ask and tell people the specific location of place. So directions around in my workplace. So yesterday you wrote the address where you worked, where you work, donde trabajaban. Entonces hablaron acerca de donde está ubicado, where your job is located, where the workplace is located. Eso estudiamos en la clase. And we also had a conversation about two guys, about Will and Tanya. Will was looking for uh, a specific building. So he requested to, to Tanya to know about a place. Y entonces veíamos eh, y practicábamos la conversación eh, en, el, en el grupo. And also you have a good practice about this conversation. Something that eh, we just remember we did in the last class. Let's continue. We work in pairs. We also answer some questions about that. Eh, we studied the use of there is for singular, as you said. 
And also there are for plural to say there, there is something. Uh, how to use it? There is and there are plus the quantifiers, some and no. Algunos y no, right? We use no uh, as part of the grammar structure. Uh, what else we did? Let's see. We studied some examples, the rule that we use, the reason there are when um, we first refer to the existence or presence or someone or something, right? When we see that there, there is someone or there is something. Para cosas, para mencionar que hay algo, hay personas, hay objetos, etc. Luego, the use of there is and there are in sentences eh, and questions. That was the, the point of this. Ese era como el punto importante, el uso del there is y there are en oraciones y preguntas. That was the, the, the important point about it, right? Entonces, estudiamos un poquito el uso del there is y el there are. Ok, vamos a ver. Muy bien. Uh, also, we studied some examples. Estudiamos algunos ejemplos en affirmative sentence. Donde está ubicado el there is y el there are. Eh, para negative, que le agregábamos el no o el not. No or not. Para hacerlo negativo, después del there is. There is not car. There aren't students. There aren't chairs. And also for question, is there a house? Hay una casa. Is there a bus? Are there students in the class? Are there chairs in the living room, etc. Veamos un poquito las reglas eh, del, del tema que vimos y algunos ejercicios that we completed. At the end of the class, we completed the conversation eh, with your partners. We were socializing some information about the use of um, there is and there are in the class. So that was something very, very important that we just uh, socialized in the class uh, yesterday. So we learned a lot. Aprendimos bastante el día de ayer. Hoy traemos un nuevo tema. We bring a new topic today in the class and I hope it's going to be very important to you guys to work in the following exercises. For this, I will pass the attendance list right now. Uh, let me see. Well, okay, so just give me one moment. I will pass the attendance list and just say present. Let me open the, the attendance list right now. One moment. Ok, uh, Adela Trinidad González. Present. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Melgar. Present. Eric Guillermo Herrera. Present. Ever de Jesús Candray. Present. Gilmar Cruz Méndez. Gilmar Cruz Méndez. Eh, Está por ahí Gilmar. Eh, Ana, Ana, Ina Crisia Santos. Present. José Ángel Guardado. José Ángel. He's not. Eh, José Daniel Rivera. José Rivera. No yet. Karen Lisette Mejibar. Karen Lisette. Todavía no. Eh, Karina Yamile de Espinosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Catherine Abigail Cuellar. Catherine Abigail Cuellar. No está. Eh, Misael Rivera Aquino. Misael Rivera Aquino. Is not. Nancy Lisette Rodríguez. Nancy Lisette Rodríguez. Está Oscar Manuel Sánchez. Present. Eh, Salvador Alfonso Cortés. Present, teacher. Eh, Sa Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. 
Present teacher. Ok, eh, Victoria María Vázquez. Victoria María Vázquez. She's not. Ya Me envió un mensaje en el chat, perdón. Eh, ¿Quién? Perdón. Victoria María, leí que tiene problemas de audio, pero que está presente. Mm. Aquí en el chat es okay. de, 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 de la clase. Ok, ok. Eh, yes, who's speaking? Sí, eh, me mencionó, pero tenía problemas con mi micrófono, pero ya lo solucioné. I'm sorry, your name? Eh, Gilmar Méndez. Oh, ok, yes, yes. Ok, Gilmar, cool. And... Thank you. All right. Jancy Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. And Jancy Magdalena Hernández. She's not. Okay, she's, she's not here. Okay, let's continue, guys. Okay, uh, let, me, let me present a new topic for today's class. We're going to study a little bit a different topic. And that is always close to the meaning there is in there are uh, plus the quantifier. So let me present the topic for today's class. And also, I send it to you early the presentation about the class so you can check in the, in the WhatsApp group. You can check the information and also work in the activities. Okay, the topic of today is this one. Look at this. Uh, addresses and places, video conference 18, preposition of place. We're going to study today the prepositions of place. We studied the preposition of time. We also studied the preposition of place and also practice. So I want you to focus about the following exercise. Let's go. General objective, ask and tell people the specific location of places and directions surrounding my workplace. Uh, students will be able to tell someone directions where my workplace and someone else are located. So we're going to focus about locations. Estudiamos de como una descripción. We're going to describe eh, en nuestro lugar de trabajo, qué hay alrededor de nosotros, y que hay una oficina, hay una entrance, hay una main office, hay the principal's office. So we're going to study a little bit about this vocabulary, and I think it's going to be eh, very important to focus. Así que vamos a iniciar con nuestro primer retro, or first challenge we have here in the class. And this is the challenge. Look carefully. Let's start. Ask a classmate. The following questions. We have two questions. Which places are in your working place? Which places are in your working place? Number two, how does your working area look like? Share two descriptions that we're going to work today. Y explicarles, I will give you some information. The first question is about what places are around your working place. And you talked yesterday about what places are next to your place. Uh, next to, you can see a cafeteria. Uh, in front of my job, there is a bank. In the left side, there is a park. Oh, there is a, another location. Okay, usted va a contestar en la primera pregunta, ¿qué lugares, cuáles lugares están en tu working place? ¿Qué hay a la derecha? ¿Qué hay a la izquierda? ¿Qué hay enfrente de donde usted trabaja? ¿Qué hay atrás? Entonces, en la primera pregunta, you describe what places are, look, are there next to your job. ¿Qué lugares están junto a su lugar de trabajo? For example, if I ask you Eric Herrera. Eric, eh, claro, en este momento es como lo, lo, lo tomamos al azar, pero luego puede escribir las respuestas. Eric, eh, Eric, what, which places are in your working place? Is there a bank, another company, a cafeteria, or a park? What do you see around your a workplace. Another company in front of my workplace is La Tosa, next to residential uh, Metropolis San Gabriel, uh, next to, to, to the left, uh, next to, to the right, uh, residential San, San, San Rafael. Okay. 
Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric was a very nice description. Uh, he has done the real examples about this place. Él nos ha hecho el ejemplo perfecto de qué lugares están alrededor de nuestro lugar de trabajo. Muy bien descrito. Okay, that's what you had to do as the Eric's example. And the second one is, how does your work area look like? Eh, ya la segunda pregunta va más enfocada a lugares internos. ¿Qué cosas hay dentro? Y para eso les voy, a, les, voy a, les voy a poner otro ejemplo. Look at this one. There is a great door in the entrance. O sea, usando there is y there are. Dice que hay una gran puerta en entrada. Porque me, me, me pregunta, how does your work, work area look like? There is an expensive vest in the main office. Uh, there is a big parking lot in the entrance. Uh, hay, una, hay un gran parqueo en entrada. There is a security stand in the entrance. Uh, hay un puesto de seguridad en entrada. There are many decoration, decorated cubicles in the office. O sea, hay eh, muchos cubículos decorativos en la oficina. There are some colorful uh, sofas. Hay unos eh, sofás coloridos en la in the main office, es decir, en la oficina principal. There are two uh, young receptionists in the office. Hay dos recepcionistas eh, jóvenes en la oficina o dos recepcionistas. Estos son podría ser algunos de los ejemplos de lo que hay a, a la par de donde se trabaja o donde se trabaja. You make the description. So that is uh, one of the examples we have, right? Entonces, you will take a couple of minutes to answer the first questions. Which places are in your work, working place? In the case of what Eric said, that was a great description. There is a cafeteria. In front of, there is a big park. Behind, there is a, an inter, a pharmaceutical company. In the left side, there is a a convenience store, you can buy different food. So you describe qué lugares están alrededor de su empresa. And the question number two, how does your working area look like? Ahí en la segunda, pues usted va a describir eh, qué, qué cositas o qué detalles importantes usted va a encontrar en el área de trabajo y utilizando there is y there are. Eh, there is an expensive vest. Eh, there is a big parking lot. Hay un gran parqueo. Eh, en la entrada eh, there, is a, there are many decorated cubicles hay muchos cubículos decorativos en la oficina entonces usted va a trabajar en este momento en this activity after that one we're going to take a short time to socialize this information in the class All right. so for this I will give you a couple of minutes and also you will have a time to practice eh, this information así que Iniciamos con nuestro primer challenge y comience a diseñar ya cómo escribir las respuestas. If you have any question about any word that maybe you don't remember or maybe it's like it is difficult and you need help, I will be more than happy to help you with this part. Okay? Así que iniciamos. Iniciamos contestando las dos preguntas y recuerden de que esta información you have them in the WhatsApp group. Esta, esta presentación ustedes la tienen en el grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes puedan revisarlo y puedan ver el vocabulario que está acá. Let's do it.
don't forget that if you have a question, you may ask. Si tiene alguna duda, pues puede preguntar. Especially with some words or expressions that are, are like difficult to, to match. Eh, or teacher, how do you pronounce eh, this word? I can help you too. Teacher. Yes, how can I help you? Uh, gas station is gasolinera. Yes, gas station is the name. Yeah, especially when you go to get some gas for your vehicle. Gas station. Thank you, teacher. All right. Um, another question. Go ahead, yes. In, in each place, I, I have to put, there is. Um, Yeah, there is a park, there is a... Para que podamos usar el there is y el there are, ¿verdad? Como el ejemplo que está acá. Look at this. Yes. There is a security stand in the entrance. Hay una... Hay una caseta de seguridad en la entrada. Entonces usamos there is. Okay, yeah. teacher. Examples. All right. That's nice. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for asking. And Karen Lisset acaba de escribir en el grupo que eh, acaba de llegar a su casa. Oh, teacher. Uh, oh, okay, Karen. Yes, for the attendant list. All right. I will take that the, in the attendant list right now. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, complete. Teacher, I have a, a question. Yes, miss. How can I help you? How do you say in English, atrás de? Eh, ok. El lado de atrás. Usted va a decir la palabra behind of. Behind. Eh, look at the chat. You can say behind or behind because it has uh, the pronunciations both. Behind or behind. Uh, can you see the chat? Yes, yes. Okay, it's it's right there. Ahí está. Yes.
Ok, eh, almost ready. Eh, Estamos ya listos. ¿Cómo vamos? Ok, ¿cómo vamos con las respuestas? How are you going with the questions or with the statements? Con las oraciones. Eh, Estamos ya casi. Teacher. Yes. How do, how do you pronounce hotel? Ah, okay. In English, the pronunciation is hotel. 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 Teacher, ¿y ¿cómo se escribe escritorio? Desk. Yeah. Like, like desk. Look at this. Look. Desk. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you say in English photocopiadora? Photocopier. Photo, Thank you. Photocopier. Like this. Photocopier. Yes. That's the word. Let's, let's uh, try to share the information. Remember that the purpose about this class is that you can produce the language, you can produce statements. Ya vamos avanzando muchísimo en este contenido. Muchos, pues que al, fin, al principio les costaba bastante incluso pronunciar. Ya hoy ya pueden hasta formar formulate statements, ya formulan oraciones, ideas. So that is fantastic because we are like progressively working. And at this level, it's not uh, mandatory that everything has to be perfect. ¿verdad? Como sabemos, en este nivel es como que eh, vamos paso a paso. Si hay algún error, pues se corrige y seguimos aprendiendo. We are learning because this is the first step you're making. Este es el primer paso, ¿verdad? Que vamos dando, o sea, es el primer paso. And further, you're going to get more experience. You will have more uh, capacity to learn. What I love is that you can understand many things about English. Lo que me gusta, y se los confieso, es que muchos de ustedes ya escuchan indicaciones en inglés, entienden indicaciones. Me hacen preguntas, teacher, I have a question. Me gustó porque ya veo que ya no es, teacher, mire que sí. No, relax. Teacher, I have a question. Ya vamos. Yes, thank you, teacher. So we're trying to use the language, right? Entonces vamos ya eh, usando el inglés ya para la clase, ya se vuelve automático, pero al mismo tiempo ya estamos usando el inglés. Entonces, eso me ha gustado bastante de ustedes, de que ya estamos usando muchas expresiones en inglés. Y eso que estamos en el nivel 1 de principiantes, es decir, eh, podríamos ir un poco más atrasados, pero vamos avanzados. Y eso es bueno, porque mientras vamos más avanzados, nosotros mismos somos como que el inglés nos va demandando más. Y mientras nos va demandando más, vamos avanzando en nuestro conocimiento. Okay, uh, is anybody ready? Hay alguien ya listo? I'm ready. Teacher. Okay, Oscar, yes. Teacher. Hello. Teacher, I have a question. What is your question? Answer the Oscar. Okay. Uh, how do you pronounce cubicle, cubiculos? Uh, uh, in English, it's cubicles. Cubicles. Aquí, aquí. Cubicles. Cubicles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes, cubicles. Yes. Okay, Oscar is ready. Okay, Oscar. Yes, teacher. You can you can share uh, the questions. Puede comenzar con la primera. Which places are in your working place? In my in my working place, there is a gas station. There is a company of friends of heavy machines. There is a ranch with cars. And two. There are so much trees of eucalyptus. The number two, how does your working area look like? There is a big door in the entrance, in entrance, or in trans? Entrance, entrance. Entrance, okay. 
and then entrance. There are so much ladders. There is uh, a table. Yes. Many uh, uh, letters, letters, right? Letters, letters, letters. Yes, yes. yeah, yes. Okay. okay. There is tables and chairs to the dinner time. No, uh, sería breakfast time. There is different kinds of machines to do bags, to do bags. There is an elevator and in the office, there are two desks. There is a photocopier and there are much plants in the corridor. Excellent. Wow, that was an amazing description. I really like it. That was very clear and specific. So you, you said that, I mean, I was thinking in my mind about everything that you were describing and I, and I felt that I was there. That was good. That was good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Somebody else that would like to share this information here. Also, you can talk about it. Who wants to share uh, what you have written? Okay, someone else? Alguien más? Great teacher. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, which place are you working place? Place near place my warrior, the Pepsi company, social media clinic, Aztec Bank, and Monco restaurant. Number, number two, how do you... How do you work in air? How life? does how does your working area? Okay. At my work, there are many computers. There are many people who work in the news. There is a server room. There is a drinks machine. Uh, there is a small kitchen. And there is a dinner room with some very comfortable chair. Uh, dining room in comfortable, comfortable chairs. Comfortable, Com comfortable, comfortable. Comfortable. Chairs. Chair. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. So we're talking about comfortable chairs. All right. That's good. Uh, uno más y luego vamos a los breakup rooms to practice. One more student. One more. Uno Me más. teacher. Yes, please. Okay. In front of a uh, round about and bacon lot. In next to right parking. In next to left a big hotel. Behind of the party. Y la segunda. There is a big parking lot. There is a photocopier. Photocopier. There are many desks in the main office. There are many cubicles. There is a security stand. There is a kitchen. But I have a question. There are two elevators or there are elevators? I mean, both are correct because in the first one, you are specifying that there are two. Eh, en la primera, usted especifica que son dos. Y en la segunda, solo dice que hay elevators. Entonces, la más específica es la que nos indica que hay dos, right? Okay. Yeah, that was good. Both are correct. Excellent. Jancy, that was awesome. I like it. I like it. A very nice description too. I really like it. Okay, uh, we're gonna work in a breakup rooms and we're gonna make a uh, small groups and we're going to describe what you can find. We describe the two equations and remember that we're gonna have a feedback uh, by any chance a partner needs some help. Si alguien tiene dudas, pues me, me, me dice teacher, necesito ayuda. Por ahí a veces me han preguntado y mientras yo eh, monitoreo los demás grupos. Así que vamos a hacer un breakup room y vamos a trabajar en pequeños grupos y va a describir contestar las dos preguntas that we have been talking about. Five groups. Let me see, we are 15. We're going to make five groups. 
Okay. So, uh, let's get ready uh, to the breakout rooms. Y luego, pues, cuando ya estemos en los breakout rooms, usted comienza, alguien del grupo comienza a, pues, a le contestar sus preguntas, como los ejemplos que han hecho los compañeros en esta clase. Y estuvieron excelentes. Let's go. La primera, pregunta, la primera pregunta es, which place, qué lugares hay alrededor de eh, tu lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, no sé si... Yes, yes. Usted, o, ¿Cómo hacemos ahí? Voy a hacerle la pregunta. Eh, eh, con Oscar, después Oscar a Cris. ¿Te parece? Y yo, ajá, sí, sí, está bien. Uh, Oscar, which play are in your working place? In my, in my working place, there is a gas station. There is a company of rent of heavy machines. There sí. is a ranch with horses. And two, there are so much trees of eucalypto. Okay. And the next question. How does your working are look like there is a big door in the entrance there are so much ladders there is tables and chairs to eat the breakfast there is different kinds of machines to do bags there is an elevator and in the office there are two desks there there is a photocopier and there are much plants in the corridor okay Perfect. Ahora pregúntale a Crisia. Crisia, mm -hmm. which places are in your working place? There is cafeteria on the right, a church and bazaar. Upside is the park and a soccer field. Siguiente pregunta. How does your working area look like? There is a small parking lot. There times there TMs there TMs ITMs perdón. There air parkers. There temperature gauges. There is also a, a closet. There is a winery. Ahora yo le pregunto, sí. Yes. Which place are in the your uh, in your working place? Hello. Hello. Eh, uh -huh. In my workplace, there are two security booths. Behind my workplace, there is Ice cream sell nevería. There are hospitals. In front, there are dining rooms. Downstream, there, downstream, there are several banks. And there are also supermarket. Uh, Vehicle workshop, a spare part cell company. Ahí lo que se dice en español, vea. 
que eh, en mi lugar de trabajo hay There is a in front of the arena. There is a next to gymnasio or gymnasio. Bueno, no sé. A there gym. A, a gym. A gym. Okay. There is a next to gym. There is a college San Jose, California. And there is a old building. Uh, how do you work? I look like a shirt. There is a great door in the entrance. There is on the fifth floor this first cycle. There is on the second floor the second cycle and secretary. secretary. Secretary, uh, uh, secretary room or secretary. secretary? Thank you. And secretary, there is a basketball court. There is a chapel. There is a principal office. There is a cafe, cafeteria. There is a computer room. There is a science lab, there is a English lab, there is a multiplayer resource classroom, there is a various desk, there, perdón, there are a various desk, there are a acrylic board. There is, there, but, are, uh, there is, porque es singular. Acrylic board. Ajá, uh -huh, there is, a, o a menos que sean varios. There are I eh, acrylic, entonces sería, there are acrylic boards, acrylic. Con, con plural, acrylic, acrylic bo boards. boards. Okay. Yes. Boards. There are a bookcase, entonces, sí, bookcase. There is a library, there is a small green area. Son varias áreas. <ríe> Son yes. bastantes lugares. Y otro lugar donde hacen, donde hacen bolsas jardineras y plásticos así como para, para mandar a varios lugares. Ok. We try, we try again. And... Let me see, Salvador, which place are in your working place? Uh, or when, when entering the office, the reception in your market department. And then the portion part. And how does your work in our look look our look like? Um, position in my cubicle. I have on your right side. I have the window forward and towards the warehouse. And the lift to your room, in front of the carpet, now scary, scary. Okay. After the winner is the cafeteria, the de la bodega. Okay. And you, Michelle, which place are in your working place? In my workplace, there is a fast food still a high place where you can play in soccer, a restaurant, had a self a service place. Okay. And how does your working uh, look like? 
that look like? Think me work area the hard garden bank cutting machines. Uh, there is a machine to eat the theodis. The sadder are machines to sell uh, their product and truths where the product are delivered. Are delivered, okay. Enough. Um, your which place or your working place? Okay, the place we have around my work is um, in front of the company, there are the Beto's workshop. And from the right side, we can find the Maris Market, Nets, some houses of the neighborhood. And, and the near the neighborhood, there is the municipal graveyard. Yeah. The, and, and that's it. And in my workplace, uh, there are some a few trees in the entrance. There are uh, different decorative pictures in the principal rooms. And there's a big. Ando el techo siempre. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, hello. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Hi. Yes, uh, go ahead. How can I help hey. you? How do you say clinica empresarial in English? Uh, for example, you can say a uh, clinic. Uh, it's like a, of the company, right? In ese sería la, de la, la clinica está en empresa. Sí. Okay. In English, you can say, for example, clinic or business clinic. Business. Business Yo clinic. Yo, pero no sabía si era correcto. Yeah, you can say it. Uh, business clinic o cleaning of the company. Si es una, una clínica propia de la compañía, entonces es clinic of the company o, o business clinic. Business clinic, ok. Yes. Um, quiero ver cuál era la otra. ¿Cómo se dice contómetro? Eh, es como en inglés, contómetro. Contómetro. Yes, contómetro. Eh, Es un cont uh, contometer. ¿Se lo voy a escribir acá? Ajá. Mira ahora. Look at this. It's contometer. Contometer. Uh, yes. Solo eso creo que era. Okay. I think we're going to go back. Uh, Bueno, eh, finished? Eh, culminaron? Finished. Yes. Finish. Okay, okay, we're going to go back because most of the groups they have finished too. Excellent.
Okay, uh, congratulations, guys. That was a fantastic uh, practice. I really like uh, many of, of you who I could listen. Uh, you were doing a great job. Uh, the descriptions were very specific. Also, the pronunciation also was important. La pronunciación ha mejorado muchísimo en la mayoría y eso me gusta porque vamos viendo un progreso, ¿verdad? En la pronunciación. Vamos muy bien. I like the way how you are pronouncing the words. That is the discipline, the wish, and the motivation to continue learning. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue with the next part of the class. Okay, look at this one. It says, read the description of Mr. Past and Mrs. Aguilar's workplace. Can you guess where they work? Look at this one and also answer this one. I want you to focus in the vocabulary that you're going to study about uh, Mr. Past and Mrs. Aguilar. Vamos con la primera. Look at the first one. There is a beautiful lobby. There is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There are comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot. There's a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. Mr. Pass. Okay, let's practice. Repeat after me, okay? Uh, repeat after me, guys. One, two, and three. There is a beautiful lobby. There is a beautiful lobby. Repeat. Number two, there are comfortable rooms. There are comfortable rooms. Repeat. Teacher. Yes. Can you repeat the word comfort? Comfort. Okay. okay. La, la, la vamos a marcar. Okay. Repeat after me. Comfort. Comfortable. Comfortable. O sea, que esa, con, esa M, confort, no se pronuncia, sino que es como que se resume. Comfortable. Conf y luego table. Comfortable. Como que el inicio y el final. Entonces, por eso es que se pronuncia así. Eh, conf, table. Entonces, como que da un salto al, al otro. De un salto al otro. Entonces, comfortable. Comfortable. Ese for, ese for no se escucha en la pronunciación americana. Solo, there, uh, they, there are comfortable rooms. Okay, number, number three, number three. There is a huge parking lot. There's a huge parking lot. Repeat. Okay, eh, cuatro. There are three high-tech elevators. There are three high-tech elevators. Repeat. Okay, vamos con eh, Mrs. Aguilar. Mrs. Aguilar. Primero, repeat after me. There is a narrow reception area. There is a narrow reception area. Repeat. Teacher. Yes. Repeat uh, ar area. Uh, area. 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 Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, siempre siguiendo el orden de la, del alfabeto, por ejemplo, A, B, oh. C, entonces como que area. Area. Entonces, yes. Thanks. There is a narrow resection. La pronunciación es resection. Como the resectionist. Resection area. Thanks, teacher. All right. Teacher, narrow, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Narrow, narrow, 
Yes, narrow. narrow. Yes. Okay, number two. There are two dairy. Este, este, la gente dice, teacher, es dirty. Eh, es dairy. Inglés americano es dairy. Acuérdense que la T y es como, para el inglés americano es como la R. Para el británico es como una T. Es dirty. 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 Es dairy. There are two dairy dining rooms. There are two dairy dining rooms. Dining rooms que para nosotros es como comedores, right? Okay. Tercera. Third. There is an ugly photocopy center. There is an ugly photocopy center. Photocopy center. There is an ugly photocopy center. Y siguiente. Siguiente. There are small offices. There are small offices. There are small offices. Hay pequeñas eh, oficinas, right? Ok. Vamos con la, eh, con la traducción. Ustedes me van a ayudar a traducir las palabras. Ustedes me ayudan. Uh, I need your help for translating uh, this vocabulary. Let's go with Mr. The first statement. There is a beautiful, uh, there is a beautiful lobby. What's the meaning? Hay un bonito lobby. Ajá, pero ¿qué es un lobby? Como una sala de espera. Vestíbulo, no. Es como una sala de espera, así es. Eso se le llama lobby. Yeah, especially when you go to a, to a company, cuando usted va a una compañía, always, always has to be a lobby in which people can go and wait eh, to see the company. Siempre en todas las oficinas, en todas las oficinas siempre hay un lugar donde es como digamos la sala de espera también le pueden llamar en ocasiones vestíbulos, eh, puede ser un vestíbulo también, es, es bastante importante, pero el más utilizado en inglés es como la sala de espera o también le llaman eh, waiting room waiting room sala de espera ante room so that is the, 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 the focus about that ok eh, what is the next one there are comfortable rooms hay cuartos cómodos. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yes. La palabra comfortable significa cómodo. Que hasta ahí eh, hay habitaciones cómodas. Que hay unos sillones que hasta se quiere dormir usted ahí cuando está bien cómodo. Ya me ha pasado. <laughs> Next one. Eh, there's a huge parking lot. There's a huge parking lot. Que hay un parqueo grande. Ajá. Ese huge, eh, la traducción de huge es inmenso, pero por lógica el, el contexto sería que hay un parqueo grande, amplio. A huge parking lot. Y la, y la palabra se, y se pronuncia huge. Y la siguiente. There are three high-tech elevators. Elevators. Hay tres elevadores de alta tecnología. Exactly. Pero quiero que nos enfoquemos en algo. Eh, tenemos beautiful, comfortable, huge, high tech. Esto se le llaman adjetivos. Y esto lo voy a explicar más adelante. Los adjetivos son aquellos que nos permiten describir una persona, animal o cosa. O sea, que los adjetivos tienen una función importante. Ahora bien, estamos viendo en estas oraciones que hay una combinación entre un adjetivo y un sustantivo. Adjective and noun. All the time we use it. Y ya lo vamos a explicar a través de reglas. Ok, let's go with the next one. Eh, Mrs. Mrs. Aguilar, there is a narrow resection area. ¿Cómo sería la traducción? There is a narrow resection area. Hay una zona de recepción estrecha. 
Exacto. Estrecha o angosta. Muy bien. There's a narrow resection area. Good. That was good. That was good. Um, there are two dairy dining rooms. Hay dos sucios comedores. Exactly. That's okay. There is, a, there is an ugly photocopy center. There is a photo, an ugly photocopy center. Hay un, hay un horrible centro de fotocopiado. Sí, al, un centro de copias. Así Pero, es. O centro uh, de fotocopias. You can say that too. And there are small offices. Hay pequeñas oficinas. Yes. Pequeños. Okay, perfect. Okay, after we have done this one, we're going to take a short time to answer the following questions. Read the information again to answer the questions. Compare it with a partner. How does Mr. Pass describe his workplace? ¿Cómo el señor Paz describe el área de trabajo? Number two, what does Mrs. Aguilar think about her for, for workplace? ¿Qué opina la señora Aguilar acerca de su lugar de trabajo? And the last one, on which of the two places do you want to work and why? ¿En cuál de los dos lugares pues, le gustaría trabajar y por qué? Así que para eso vamos a trabajar en este momento, en este ejercicio. We are going to work in this exercise and also eh, en base a lo que está acá, usted lo va a contestar. Ok, this is what you have to do right now and also I will eh, pass the attendance list right now. So just uh, give me one moment to, to pass the attendance list. Meanwhile, you work in activity. Entonces, trabajamos en esas preguntas y eh, mientras yo paso la asistencia. Así que one second. Hmm. Okay. Just one moment. Okay, uh, we're going to pass the attendance list. Uh, Adela Trinidad Gonzalez. Present. Uh, Carlos Eduardo Melgar. Present. Eric Guillermo Herrera. Present. Uh, Ever de Jesús Candray. Present teacher. Uh, Gilmar Cruz Mendez. Present. Ina Crisia Santos. Present. Eh, José Ángel Guardado. José Ángel. Eh, José Daniel Rivera. José Daniel Rivera Aquino. Karen Lisette Mejibar. Present. Karina Yamilet Espinosa. Present. Eh, Catherine Abigail Cuellar. Eh, Misael Rivera Aquino. Present. Misael Rivera. Present. Ok. Eh, Nancy Lisette Rodríguez. Present. Eh, Nancy Lisette, right? Sí. Ok, ok. Oscar Manuel Sánchez. Oscar Manuel Sánchez. No estaba por aquí, Oscar. Ahí está Oscar, muy bien. Salvador Alfonso Cortés. Eh, micrófonos, micrófonos. Eh, ok, thank you, Salvador. Eh, eh, Saúl. Present teacher. Ok. Victoria María Vázquez. Present. Uh, Jancy Guadalupe. 
Present. Jancy Magdalena. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, you got it. Ya tenemos la primera. You have the first one. What do you have on the first one? Uh, how does Mr. Pass describe his workplace? I need a bubble <clears> too. <throat> Finish, teacher. Okay. Uh, a volunteer to help me to read the first one. ¿Cuál podría ser la primera? ¿Qué, qué me pueden decir? Hey teacher. Yes. Uh, Mr. Paz, uh, describe your workplace. His? His, his work. His workplace. Work there. there is a beautiful place. Uh, there is comfortable rooms. Comfortable? Comfortable rooms. Cute parking lot. Okay, there are comfortable rooms and a big park, a huge parking lot. Yes. Okay. A beautiful lobby. Uh, there are comfortable rooms. Okay. Uh, guys, do you agree with this answer? Están de acuerdo con esa respuesta? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Excellent. Thank yes. you, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, another volunteer for the number two. What does Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace? Si ustedes se fijan, para el señor ocupamos Mr. Y se pronuncia Mr. Pero cuando es señora, ya aparece una S. Entonces es Mrs. Digan conmigo, Mrs. Mrs. Yes. Aquí ya usted dice señora en inglés. No voy a decir Mr. Sino, uy. Le está diciendo señor ahí, entonces no vaya a ser. Por eso yo les, les aclaro aquí que pronuncien conmigo Mrs. Mrs. López, señora tal, señora 
Mendes, you know, Mrs. Aguilar. Okay, también le dicen mom. Okay, what does Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace? ¿Qué dice Mrs. Aguilar de, de, de su lugar de trabajo? A ver, ¿quién me ayuda? I do the teacher. Excellent. Go ahead. Okay, Mrs. Aguilar is disappointed for their workplace. Workplace, sorry. She described like a trash center and the rules in bad conditions for work because there is a neighbor reception area, are two dirty dining rooms, and it's an ugly photocopy center. And to finish, there are a small office. Okay, that was good, Ever. That was excellent. Uh, dirty dining rooms, dirty dining rooms. Okay. That, that's okay. That's comprehensive. That's like a, a problem for her. So she has a different experience then. O sea que ella tiene una experiencia diferente. Okay, this is a personal, this is a personal uh, answer. On which of the two places do you want to work and why? I, cuando usamos este while es un critical thinking. Ya nos vamos a un pensamiento crítico porque ya no decimos, ah, este o este. Pero ¿y por qué? Ya nos hace pensar, es un critical thinking. Ah, por, because eh, th there is not available for people go there because you are not comfortable, because it's dirty. So, eh, who wants to help me to answer the question number two? ¿Quién me responde la pregunta tres con su propia información? Because it's a personal eh, answer. Yes, I'm listening, all ears. I want to work in the Mr. Pass workplace because it's a beautiful and clean workplace with comfortable rooms to rest and high technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. That was good, that was good. Otra opinión. Uh, Karen, what do you think, Karen? On which of the two places would you like to work and why? Um... Es que, de hecho, estaba traduciendo la pregunta porque no sé realmente lo que dice. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, era, ¿en cuál de los dos trabajos, de los dos lugares, te gustaría trabajar y por qué? Uh, de la conversación, ¿verdad? De yes. Mr. Paz y de Mrs. Aguilar. Yes. Um, because uh, I want to work in and Mr. Pass and, and porque es que comfortable decía comfortable es este there are comfortable rooms and there is a beautiful lobby and Oh, I think we have a, I don't know, a disruption. ¿Escucharon? Eh, no, interferencia. Yeah. Yes, there is an interference. Yeah, perhaps that is an interference. But that was clear. That was, that was understandable. Oh, that was understandable. Bien, vamos con el siguiente tema. We go with the following topic, guys. Eh, let's go with this. Just one moment. Yeah, well, yes, there's a problem with the connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry, we understand. Okay, we're going to study today about the use of uh, adjectives before nouns, how to use adjectives before nouns. Uh, let me see. Um, Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, Misael, 
help me to read the following information. Uh, Miss Ayel, help me to read positive adjectives, please. Uh, there are comfortable Conf Comfortable. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. With, um, There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking good. There are nice place to rest. There is an illuminated, 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 thing. illuminated, you illuminated, illuminated, training room. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, nice, nice places to rest. There is a illuminated, illuminated training room. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Okay, Salvador, help me to read the negative adjectives. Okay. There is a an narrow section here. Here. Oh. There are a small office. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, just to focus about narrow resection area, small offices, como es plural, es offices. Disgusting, ¿qué significa disgusting? There's a disgusting kitchen area, significa que es algo que, que no es agradable, algo que disgusta. Como una cocina, un área de cocina desagradable, como sucia, right? It's like disgusting kitchen area. It's like dairy. Como, eh, there is a smelly living room. ¿Qué significa smelly? Que genera un olor. Imagínese usted va a, una, a un lugar, a public place, and you go to a living room, and suddenly it's smelly. Como, como de un olor extraño, maloliente. It's like smelly living room. So that is negative adjectives. Eh, Eso es lo que hablamos. Eh, las palabras que ya usamos, illuminated training room, eh, habitaciones iluminadas. Eso es importante, to be illuminated. Especially because we're working with papers, with documents, y todo opaco, la luz ahí de foquito, ¿verdad? Y acá casi quemado. Lo que tiene que ser illuminated, because we can work in a better way. I'm sorry, teacher. Creo que se me arruinó la compu. Oh, my God. Es, eso sí es... Sí. Eso sí es alarmante usted. Sí, creo que del teléfono me va a tocar de ahora. No se pudo arruinar después de la clase, mire, qué barbaridad. Sí. Cero estrellas sí, para mamá, eso. Así que, así que lo siento, ya no puede seguir. Ok, don't worry, don't worry, miss. We understand. Sol, sí. Teacher, teacher Pero, solo, que, solo que Karen nos explique después cómo hace ese efecto a la hora de que le preguntan. <risa> Mejor ayúdeme a arreglarla. Mire, mire, aquí tenemos técnicos aquí en computación. Hasta, no, hombre, aquí hasta sobran, ve. Miren, sí, cabal. He así, llegado al mejor lugar. Imagínese cabal, si aquí. Ya la sé. solución es, de hecho, la solución es, compra una nueva. Más Ay, fácil. Usted. Es más fácil. Ay, El primer no. paso, reiníciela. Ahí está, ya, ya ve. Lo hice, ya lo hice como 50 veces y ya me entiendo. Ok. Sí, no, no, ya ahí sabe. Es. Ahí bueno, estamos a la orden. Ahí está, ya ve, ya sí, ves. Sí. A ver. Sí. Y como dice el dicho, el que, el que sabe se divierte. Así que ya ve, ahí está. Cabal. <risa> Cabal, cierto. Ok. Ok. okay. Uh, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, smelly. Uh, you say, you say, uh, oloroso. 
Smelly. Es, uh, smelly. Smelly es como que ex, de, exprende un olor. Es como maloliente, un olor eh, inapropiado. Smelly. Y, y si quieres decir que es un olor agradable, porque en este caso, Smelly es. Eh, estamos, lo estamos viendo como algo negativo, ¿verdad? Y algo, un, un buen olor, ¿cómo sería, dicho? Eh, si usted quiere decir olor agradable en inglés, agradable. puede decir nice smell. Nice smell. smell. O savory nest. Hay una palabra que es savory nest. Savory nest. O eh, nice smell. Mm, smells nice. Nice smell. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, veamos un poquito. Eh, veamos esta oración. Uh, tenemos, I have a very old house. Como toda oración, hay una estructura gramatical. Está compuesta por un sujeto, por un verbo, por un artículo que es a. Very, que se convierte en un adverbio. El adjetivo que es old, adjetivo viejo. Y house, que sería el noun. Entonces nos vamos a enfocar en el adjetivo y en el sustantivo, que sería adjective noun. Old house, la casa vieja. Adjectives usually go before the nouns they modify. Dice que los adjetivos usualmente van antes que los sustantivos que ellos modifican. Cuando yo digo casa, es casa. Pero si yo digo old house, ese old, ese adjetivo viejo, automáticamente me modificó la casa. Ya no es solamente una casa, sino que es una casa vieja. Entonces, adjectives usually go before the nouns that they modify. He's an intelligent boy. Él es un chico inteligente. Yo puedo decir he is a boy. Es un chico, está bien. Pero yo quiero modificar el sustantivo. Entonces voy a decir, ah, intelligent. Intelligent boy. Entonces el adjetivo va antes. En nuestro idioma es distinto. El adjetivo va después. El chico, inteligente. Pero en inglés, primero va el adjetivo y luego va el sustantivo para dar un enfoque de una modificación. La chica feliz. Eh, primero va el sujeto y luego va el adjetivo, en este caso que es feliz. Acá, a diferencia, el adjetivo va antes. Entonces, el adjetivo nos permite describir qué es lo que hace el sujeto, la persona o el objeto. Entonces, un ejemplo de ello es que decimos, ¿para qué nos sirven los adjetivos? Para describir cómo son las personas. Si es alto, bajo, inteligente, lento, rápido, caliente, helado, frío... Eh, pequeño, corto, rápido, angosto, liviano, eh, aburrido, triste. Todos esos adjetivos nos demuestran uh, shows specifically a characteristic. Look at examples. Ok, tenemos acá algunos ejemplos de los que ya hemos visto antes. There is a great door, es una puerta grande. Expensive vest. A big parking lot. Security stand. Entonces, great, expensive, big, security, decorative, colorful, young, son adjetivos. Entonces, aquí hay muchos cubículos, pero ¿cómo son los cubículos? Decorative, son decorativos en este caso. ¿Cómo, cómo es el sofá? Es colorful. Entonces, el, acá, el adjetivo modifica al sustantivo. Acompañado de there is y there are para plural or singular. This is uh, the focus about this activity. Let's go with one example. Complete the sentences using the words provided and the correct verb. Eh, vamos a completar estas oraciones utilizando eh, las palabras small y gym. ¿Cómo puedo decir yo que este es un gimnasio pequeño? O quiero decir que hay eh, nuevas habitaciones de entrenamiento. Siempre utilizando lo que es el there is y el there are. Ese no se le va a olvidar. Teacher. Yes. No se ve bien la, la, la presentación. Mm, ¿A dónde no se ve bien? Sorry. A mí no se me ve bien, quizás. Ajá. ¿Lo, ¿Cómo lo ven ustedes? Hoy sí. Ya, 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 ya. Ah, quizás estaba cargando, estaba cargando quizás. Ajá, yo dije, uy, ¿qué pasó? Dije yo, no vaya a ser. Ok. 
Aquí tenemos a los técnicos también, no pasa nada. Aquí tenemos especialistas. Este, este, este grupo va a ser rentable, teacher. Va que sí la vamos a sacar provecho. Sí, vamos a sacarle provecho. Ahí vamos, raja y raja, teacher. <ríe> Por eso es que yo estaba preguntando qué hacían, pues para ver ahí qué podíamos negociar. Muy bien. <ríe> All right. Vendo partes también. ¿Cómo? Vendo partes de computadoras. Ah, ah, vaya, mire, una memoria ahí, este. Ahí, muy bien, muy bien. All right. Pero bueno, voy a usar la computadora. Ahí para la compañera. <ríe> <ríe> Pueden hacer una, una oferta a usted. <ríe> ok, that's cool. That's cool. Ya okay. saqueado. Ya saqueado. <ríe> All right, that's nice. That's nice. Entonces pensemos cómo poder formar estas oraciones utilizando there is and there are. Hay, eh, you know, there are smart meeting rooms. Ok, tenemos unos minutitos para ir completando algunas y ustedes me van dando ideas de cómo van cada una. Let's go.
Ok, vamos con la primera. Let's go with the first one. Eh, ¿Cómo podría ser la primera? How the first one would be? There is a small gym. O sea, small. There is a small gym. Like this. In the neighbor. Okay, it's okay. There is a small gym. Yeah, that's okay. Number two. What about the number two? They are so new training room. Okay. Let me see. We're going to work in here. Mm -hmm. There are some training rooms. Okay. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Like this, right? There are some train, new training rooms. Y utilizamos un quantifier. ¿Y cuál es el quantifier? Es some. Muy bien. Eh, número tres. New training, en este caso, bueno, eh, sería la siguiente. Eh, clean cafeterias. Clean cafeterias. ¿Cómo sería esta? How this would be? Eh, clean cafeterias. Yes, todavía no. There are, there are clean cafeterias in the city. Eh, there are clean cafeterias in the city. There are a clean cafeterias. Cafeteria. I'm sorry. This is the cafeterias in the city. Le puse yo. Oh, okay. Muy bien. A context. A uso ahí el context. Muy bien. Entonces, eh, eh, there are clean cafeterias in the city. Okay, cool. Yes, we got it. Um, here. Y la siguiente, a eh, smart meeting room. There is. There is a smart meeting room. In the office. Okay, look at this. Look at this. There is a small there is a small there is a small meeting room in the office. So I need to add in n, okay, like this. Okay. Uh, number 5, unpleasant bathrooms. Unpleasant bathroom. Unpleasantness no placenteros. There are three, entonces. There are some. Some. On. on, on, on pleasant. Bathrooms. Bathrooms. There are some unpleasant bathrooms. There are some unpleasant bathrooms. Okay. And the last one, tiny coffee calls. Tiny significa diminutos. ¿Qué dijo que significaba unpleasant y se escribió con M o con P? Eh, así como está acá, unpleasant. I'm sorry, sorry, misspelling. Unpleasant, unpleasant bathrooms. Y tiny, que en este caso sería como di, diminutos cubículos diminutos. There is tendría que ser ahí. There is cubículos. There is tiny cubículos. Okay, there is a tiny cubicle. Okay. 
Ok. There's a tiny cubicle. Muy bien. Hay un eh, cubículo diminuto. Excelente. Eh, muy bien, muy bien. Me parece. There's a tiny cubicle. Ok, so we have completed eh, this exercise. We have completed this exercise. That was good. Eh, definitely, it's very interesting. Eh, questions, by the way, about this exercise? Eh, preguntas? Any questions? No questions. No, right? Ok. Vamos con la última parte. Ya nos queda eh, ya poco tiempo para ir culminando. Dice, tell a partner a description of the all areas in your workplace. Take notes about your classmates' description and share later to the class. Lo que hicimos al inicio, si ustedes recordarán, what you did at the beginning, en este caso nos vamos a centrar eh, solo en una pregunta. How does your work in area look like? Solo vamos a contestar esta última pregunta que ustedes ya tienen en sus, en sus grupos y la vamos a socializar en la clase, right? That's what we had to do. Pero hoy lo vamos a hacer con personas distintas, with different people in the group. Entonces, la pregunta que usted va a contestar es esta. How does your working area look like? Entonces usted va a describirle, le va a comentar a su compañero, ok, in the workplace you can see there is a, there is an entrance, there is a great door, there is an expensive bus, there is a big parking lot in the entrance, there is a security stand in the entrance, there are many decorated cubicles in the office, there are some colorful sofas in the main office, uh, there are two young receptionists, Uh, there is a beautiful lobby, there, there are comfortable rooms, there is a huge parking lot, there are three high elevators, y así usted va a, expli a explicarle a su compañero o la descripción de las áreas que usted encuentra in the office. This is what we had to do. Ok, uh, is that clear? ¿Está claro esta parte? Yes, teacher. Thank you yes. so much. All right, so we're going to take exactly six minutes to this. Como ya tenemos esa información, vamos a dar unos minutitos y lo vamos a hacer for groups. We're going to make for groups y lo vamos a hacer así en brevedad posible, ya que tendríamos 10 minutes to do this. Just 10 minutes. Así que let's uh, recreate them. Ok, recreating. Uh -huh. Ok, así que ingresamos a los breakout rooms. Pero creo que era así. There, there is a computer center. There is working area. There is a court. There is a shaper. There are plants. There are classrooms. Solo eso tenía. Unidad. Sí. No place anymore. Ok. Salvador, uh, how does your working area look like? Um, area department, it, 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 um, marketing department, purchase department, uh, and business, business department.
Solamente. Only that. Okay. And you, Christian? Can you hear me? Yes. Um, yeah. There is there is a small parking lot. There is a there there are there are ATMs. There are temperature gauges. There is there there is also close. There is a winery. A win okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, thank you. In my case and in in the trace to the in trends to the company, there are some fruit trees. And there are different decorate pictures in the principal rooms of uh, business. And there is a big parking in front to entrance the door. And there is some nice areas to rest when we take a rest or we take a break. Only that. And that's it. Pues no, 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 no. Otro. <laughs> no, este, dele. <laughs> Vamos. Vaya a actividad. Vaya, Misael. How does your working are uh, look like? Hi, my work area there are garden, back, putting machines. There is a machine to. Uh, okay. I'm, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I would like to ask uh, Oscar, ya pasó de los 10 minutos eh, que es del final. No sé si. Yes, teacher. Yes, right. Okay, thank the, you. The, the, the last week. Paper. Oh, the last week. All right, perfect. Thank you. A mí me okay. toca mañana, teacher. Ah. Okay, let me see. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, yes, tomorrow, of course. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Nice, nice. Okay, okay entonces, eh, iba con lo mío, ¿verdad? Sería, in my working area, look like... <laughs> eh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Eh, ¿Alguien de ustedes no ha pasado uh, de los de los 10 minutos de refuerzo? Yo creo que todos, ¿verdad? ¿Alguien no ha pasado de los 10 minutos de refuerzo? No, ya pasé. Ya I, think, pasé. I think everybody passed, right? Todos han pasado ya. Ok. Continue, sí. guys. Ok. Ok. Uh, how do your working area look like here, Trinidad? <laughs> there is a basketball court. There is a chapel. There is a principal office. There is a cafeteria. There is a computer room. There is a science lab. There is an English lab. There is a multiple resource classroom. There are uh, various desks. There are uh, a clipboard. There are a bookcase. There is a library. There is a small green area. Okay, very good, very good. Um, uh, How does your working are uh, look like, Carlos? Thanks, Trinidad. <laughs> in my workplace, inside the company, there is a cafeteria. There are two wide parking space. There is business clinic. There are computer, chairs, windows coffee market, uh, for a coffee. There is mango tree. There are some avocado trees. 
ETC. Okay. Uh, finished the chair. All right. Okay. Fruit. There are fruit uh, trees. Hay árboles frutales. There are many computers. There is a server room. It's okay. Okay. Bien. Okay. Entonces lo que entendí que primero there is a big parking lot. There is a security system. Uh, uh, pe pe a... Perdón, Hilmar. Hilmar, perdón. Uh, uh, build a castle teacher. Teacher is the, the difference between warehouse and storage. Uh, it's the same. Uh, it's synonyms. Son sinónimos. Es lo mismo. Yes. Ok. Sí, yo, yo, lo, yo lo, lo manejaba como storage. Eh, algo pequeño así como de la casa, una bodega en la casa. En warehouse, eh, eh, en, en las empresas, ¿verdad? En las company eh, de almacenamiento. Ya, yeah, es, acuérdese que también eh, para el área, área informática, eh, storage es, por ejemplo, la parte donde usted guarda toda la, el, la información, el almacenamiento. Entonces son palabras generales con sin, significados. Igual puede ser warehouse, ya no dimensiona a cabal, es un lugar, es un almacenamiento grande, como una empresa, como un taller. Yes. So you can use it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, another question, Kilmer. Uh, solo eso, ya lo que teníamos. Bueno, voy, voy a repetir lo de Karina. Okay. Uh, Karina is to say okay. there is a cultural history. There is a computer center, and there are warehouse. And Eric, he, she is, there is a big parking lot. Uh, there is a security stand. Um, there is a storage, a storage warehouse. There are three, Three fruits, fruits, árboles de frutales. Ajá. Fruits. There are computers. Yeah, there many, is many a computers. server room. A server room and a conference room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y and lo mío sería there are many computers. Teacher. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um. All right. So let's let's talk about a uh, one volunteer to talk about one of your partner's information. 
I would like to listen one of you guys to talk about one of your partner's information and you can share it to the class. Necesito un voluntario eh, para que nos lea la información de un compañero que, que ha explicado acerca de lo que hay. Así que I know that, that most of you took notes about uh, your partner's activities. So I would like uh, to listen to one of you guys uh, talking about your partner's information. Who would like to be? ¿Quién le gustaría eh, comentar acerca de su, la información de, su, de uno de sus compañeros? Yes. A ver. Eh, sí, solo uno, ¿verdad? Sí, solo, solo uno, quisiéramos. Eh, yo sé que todos aquí, entonces no sé a quién elegir, de verdad. <laughs> ok, thank you. Right. Mr. Gilmar. <laughs> my my is Karina eh, Eric. Eh, Karina, ah. she says uh, there is a case register, there is a computer center, there are a uh, workhouse, and Eric, he says, um, no, he say there is big parking lot, there is security stand, and there is a warehouse, and there are three fruits, and there are many computers, if there is a server room. Excellent, okay, very good. Congratulations, that was very interesting, right? That's okay, uno más, uno más, por favor, alguien más. Que muy bien, ahí el compañero rompió los esquemas. Así que alguien más, uno más y con él terminamos o con ella. Ok, who's next? Who's next? Eh... Eric? el mismo grupo de Hilmar teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, por eso no me ofrecí. Pero ya ah. está Karen ahí levantando la mano, mire. Ok, ok, Karen. Okay, Karen. Mire, eh, um... hoy, no se, hoy no se le va a arruinar el teléfono, ¿verdad? No, 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 <laughs> eh, description, workplace, eh, Nancy, and there is a computer, okay. there is a desk, there is a photocopier, there is a, there are a sofas, um there is oh there are no me recuerdo bien si era new paper algo así eh, es como periódicos newspaper es... ah there is an there is a newspaper there or there is... are o ah, there are no si eran varios o era uno okay mm -hmm. some some newspaper alguno okay all right. Okay, thank you so much. Well, guys, we're about to finish. Thank you so much for the effort, for the sacrifice. Ya nos quedan dos clases, así que eh, vamos a aprovechar eh, el poder eh, avanzar en esto. Así que, chicos, eh, brevemente vamos a pasar la asistencia. No se les olvide, por favor, eh, completar los ejercicios que corresponden cada día, las tareas de cada día para que el día lunes, ese mismo día, pongamos ya las notas finales, ¿verdad? 
eh, ya nos dijeron de, de que hay que estar pendientes de que pues vayan completando todas las actividades y no falten mañana voy a dar una pequeña inducción sobre la encuesta de satisfacción que es de carácter importantísima que la podamos llenar el día lunes el día lunes bien a Adela Trinidad González present Carlos Eduardo Melgar present eh, Eric Guillermo present Ever de Jesús. Present. Gilmar Cruz. Present. Ina Crisia. Present. José Ángel. José Ángel. Eh, José Daniel. Karen Lisset. Present. Karina Yamilet. Present. Catherine Abigail. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present. Eh, Nancy Lisset Rodríguez. Present. Oscar Manuel Sánchez. Present. Eh, Salvador Alfonso Cortés. Present. Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Present, teacher. Ok, Victoria María Vázquez. Present. Eh, Yancy Guadalupe Erazo. Present. Y Yancy Magdalena. Ok, guys. Entonces, eh, recordarles, si les llega un el enlace con la encuesta de satisfacción, no la hagan, porque esa encuesta la vamos a contestar todos el día lunes, para los que no estuvieron ayer en la clase, y mañana voy a dar una pequeña inducción para que la podamos hacer el día lunes. Sí. Pero eso a mí no me ha llegado aún. A ustedes no les ha llegado todavía, chicos, ese enlace. Bueno, posiblemente sea el día de mañana o el fin de semana. Voy a preguntar por cualquier cosa, oye. Porque sí, les tiene que llegar ese, ese, esa información y luego nosotros la vamos a hacer el próximo lunes. Así que, thank you guys. Have a beautiful night to everybody. Enjoy this beautiful day. See you tomorrow. Night. Good 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 night.